everyone, welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. Another definite integral problem. This one is the integral of x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x dx. And we're going to be evaluating on the range 0 to 2. So as always with definite and integral problems, two steps, the first of which is to take the integral, the second of which is to evaluate on the range 0 to 2. So first we're taking the integral, and let's go ahead and do that now. Um, we're going to add 1 to the exponent, so 3 plus 1 is 4. Um, and then we divide the coefficient, which is an implied 1, by the new exponent, 4. So 1 fourth x to the fourth is the integral of x cubed here. Then we'll subtract. Um, we add 1 to the exponent, 2 plus 1 is 3. Divide the coefficient 4 by the new exponent, 3. And then uh, add 1 to the exponent. Right here it's an implied 1. We're going to add 1 and get 2. And then divide the coefficient 3 by the new exponent, which is 2. So there's our integral. Um, and now we need to evaluate on the range um, 0 to 2. So the first thing we want to do is plug in 2 to this whole function. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll get, um, we'll get uh, 1 fourth times 2 to the fourth minus 4 thirds 2 to the third plus 3 halves um, times 2 squared. So we plug in 2 to this whole function and then we subtract um, everything when we plug in 0. So again, 1 fourth times 0 to the 4 minus 4 thirds 0 cubed and blah blah blah. You can see that if I plug in 0 here um, it's going to be 0. This whole thing is going to be 0 because it's each time multiplied by 0. So that's just going to go away. So all we need to focus on is this here. And let's just go ahead and simplify. Um, so again, uh, step 1 was taking the integral, which we did here. And step 2 was evaluating on the range 0 to 2, which we did. We plug in 2 first, and we always uh, put a minus sign, and then plug in the bottom number, which in this case was 0. That whole thing's going to cancel because, um, because it's just multiplied by 0. But here, to simplify, let's see, um, 2 to the 4th we have here. So that's going to be 2 to the 4th is uh, 16. So we have 16, and then we have divided by 4. And then uh, 2 cubed is 8, so we have minus um, 4 thirds times 8 and then uh, 3 halves, and then 2 squared is 4. So we have plus 3 halves times 4. So um, 16 over 4 is 4. Um, 4 times 8 is 32, so minus 32 thirds. And then 3 times 4 is 12, so plus 12 over 2, which is actually going to simplify. 12 over 2 is just 6. So we have 6 here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, multiply everything by 3 so we can have a common denominator. So I'm going to um, put this over 3, but in order to do that, I need to make this 12, right? Because it was 4, so um, 12 over 3 is the same thing as 4. And then same over here. This has to become 18 thirds to get a common denominator. 18 thirds is the same thing as 6. So now we have uh, 12 minus 32 plus 18, which is negative 2. So the numerator simplifies to negative 2. And since we have a common denominator with 3 on the bottom of each of these, um, we can put 3 on the bottom. And our final answer is negative 2 thirds. Thanks, guys. See you next time.